No. No? <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, Sal here. So ever since Carl Pye left OnePlus, the company isn't the same anymore. OnePlus has become almost unrecognizable in the last few years. They merged with Oppo and their phones are no longer affordable. They are getting rid of the alert slider for their phones except the Pro models and the Oxygen OS which was loved by many turning to a color OS. Basically OnePlus lost the plot, lost its identity and became a rebranded version of Oppo phones. I guess Carl Pye knew this all along and left the company before seeing it fall flat on its face and made a new company of its own called Nothing. You might have heard of this brand, they made value for money Nothing earphones and now the company is all ready to launch their first ever smartphone called Nothing Phone 1. After weeks of teasing, the company has revealed the design of the handset and in a world of same looking phones, this is a breath of fresh air. The phone's back has a semi-transparent treatment where you could see the wireless charging coil and some other components. Interestingly, the phone has a series of light strips built into its back which apart from making the handset look good, also act as some sort of notification light which was once a standard in Android phones. Since almost all of the phones now have a full screen at the front, you no longer see any company including a notification light so this is going to be a welcome addition. The phone has flat sides just like the iPhones but unlike Apple which uses stainless steel, this phone will have an aluminum frame. The company didn't reveal the front of the handset but rumors say it's gonna look like the S22 Plus from the front with no chin and a punch hole camera up top. Also this is not gonna be a flagship phone. Nothing confirms that the processor inside will be Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 chipset and as you can see it houses a dual camera setup. There will be a 45 watt fast charging support and the software side will be handled by Nothing OS based on Android 12. The company is hyping this phone as some sort of a revolutionary product which is a very bold claim because there's nothing left to innovate on regular slap phones. And this kind of overhyping a product could backfire badly because the key issue with excessive hype is that it results in massive expectations among prospective buyers. If you hype your product up as being an absolute game changer, people are gonna expect something that quite literally changed the nature of what it does. What Steve Jobs unveiled back in 2007 was a game changer, what Samsung unveiled in 2019 was a game changer. But I don't see anything revolutionary with this nothing phone one as the company is claiming to be. But I hope I'm wrong, I hope the company does have some surprises planned when they eventually launch the phone on July 12th. Of course, for all the latest updates, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.